Hi, my name is Jack. In this channel, I talk about personal finance, adulting, and self-improvement. And today, in this video, let's talk about the 5 common Filipino money mistakes to avoid. Okay, let's begin with my unpopular take. This is the best and worst unique Filipino money trait na ma-observe mo sa mga Pinoy. You can disagree with me on this one and it's going to be fine. I'm not saying that this is an absolute fact, but I have to say this. And that is to give too much too early. I have to repeat, too much too early. I've seen family and friends take care of their family's expenses too much too early. And don't get me wrong, I genuinely appreciate yung act nila and it's very noble. But my only thing against it is please, Take care of yourself muna before you take care of others. Now, I do understand naman talaga na meron walang choice. Like if hindi sila nabigay sa family nila, magutom yung family nila, and that's an exemption to what I'm mentioning. Pero kasi I know people that does it kasi they wanted to please their parents, kasi nakasanayan lang, kasi it's the norm, it's the culture. Look, I'm not saying na huwag ka magbigay. What I'm just actually pointing out is learn to leave something for yourself. Huwag mong ibigay lahat. Build a good amount of savings first, build an emergency fund first, then you get an insurance protection, then you help your family. I think this is a more sustainable way of helping your family in the longer run. And accept the fact na minsan mapifeel mo talaga yung guilt. But keep in mind na ginagawa mo yun kasi you want to help your family in a more sustainable way. Second on my list is lifestyle inflation. So basically, lifestyle inflation means is yung paglaki ng spending habit mo is proportional to your salary wage increase. So makikita mo may mga taong tumataas yung sweldo, tumataas din yung gastos, kaya hindi sila nakakaipon. This is straightforward. Just be aware and be conscious na nangyayari talaga to. So uh, wag mo, try mo na lang na wag taasan yung spending habit mo kahit lumalaki ng sweldo mo. Pero hindi talaga pwede yun. Uh, just gradually increase yung spending habits mo. So dahan-dahan lang huwag mong bibiglain kasi nanenegay nito yung pagtaas ng sweldo mo. Third on this list is getting down in debt or nababaon sa utang. So, just use yung story ng kakilala ko. So, what happened is, uh, nagpakasal sila ng wife niya, uh, nagka-baby sila, then kumuha sila ng bahay all at the same year. Tapos, hindi lang na-calculate yung expenses nila na kasi meron pa silang wedding expenses and yung maternity expenses para dun sa pregnancy ng wife nila. So, nangyari nga, hindi nila na-calculate yung expenses nila. So, yung mga initial nilang check dun sa bank nila, uh, nawalan yun ng balance and tumalbog yung mga cheque and yun, uh, yung bahay na pinaghirapan nila all of a sudden, uh, na foreclose and nakuha ng banko yung bahay sa kanila There are a lot of reasons why Filipinos end up taking loans and hindi na natin iisa-isa yun So instead, yung pag-usapan na natin are making guidelines and measures on how we can make sure na yung mga utangin natin kaya nating bayaran Okay, let's start first with the informal loan So ito yung mga inutang natin sa mga kaibigan natin sa kapamilya natin sa mga loan sharks sa mga 5, 6 So, yun So for me, ang general guideline ko lang dito is to have twice as much kung magkano yung utangin mo para for sure mababayaran mo kung magkano man uutangin mo. So for example, nung uh, nangutang ako sa friend ko para dito sa pambili ko ng phone. So nangyari kasi nun, uh, so sa stage ko kasi ito pinabili dun sa friend ko. And yung offer niya sa akin, yung usapan namin, pagbalik niya na lang, tsaka ako babayaran. So parang pinabili ko sa kanya ito noong December or November. So parang meron akong 3 or 4 months na allowance before siya umuwi. So inutang ko yun, uh, this phone costs 18000 So yun nangyari, di ba? Uh, so yun na, pinautang niya ako muna ng money. So may utang ako sa kanya 18,000. So for me, before I commit to that utang, I make sure na meron akong 36,000 pesos. So that's twice kung magkano yung utangin ko. Yung reason ko behind this, because is pagka tinabi ko lang is yung exact amount. For example, 18,000, which is yung pardon na sa phone. For sure, within the 3 months, mababawasan ko yun. So pag yun lang yung tinabi ko, mababawasan yun. Kukulangin yung pambayad ko dun sa kaibigan ko. So it's good to save na twice as much kung magkano yung utangin mo. For house loans, car loans, so itong mga to, sobrang laki na neto. So parang halos imposible mo nang ipunin yung twice as much kung magkano yung value ng utangin mo. So for me, when it comes to these kinds of loans, uh, for me, uh, I think it's safe to say na at least always save one year's worth of your mortgage loan. When it comes to loans, there are two things that I wanted to point out. First is, always have a buffer. So pag nag-iipon ka lang pang bayad sa sakto sa utang mo, uh, for sure kakapusin ka. So I always suggest na for you to have a buffer or extra allowance sa pang bayad mo. Second is, and most important, is Huwag ka na umutang kung hindi mo talaga kayang bayaran. Simple as that. 
support on this list is not educating yourself about money because money is the root of all evil. Knowing that Filipinos are very religious person, madalas we take this uh, Bible phrases too literally and I think it's personally wrong and it hinders yung financial literacy natin as a country. For me, money is a tool. It's a special piece of paper that we use to buy goods and services. And at the end of the day, ikaw naman yung pipili ng choice mo kung paano mo gagamitin yung pera mo, whether it's for good or it's for bad. Take advantage of money. Learn how to grow and invest your money. Huwag mo lang patayang gahin yan because definitely inflation will depreciate its value. And if your heart is in the right place, uh, the more money you have, the more good deed you can do. Last is having a baby too early. Ito, this is something hard for me to say because personally, I have friends who had baby too early and I don't want to be the bearer of the bad news para sa kanila, di ba? But it's a hard truth that we need to tell. The hard truth is pagka nagsisimula ka pala mag-work, you swell the most sakto lang sa'yo. Walang labis, walang kulang. And if you have a baby at that stage, pag in your earlier age, di ba? Wala kang choice. Mamumutang ka kasi sakto lang yung sweldo mo. So, alam mo yun, how are you gonna provide for uh, the kids' need? Paano yung gatas? Paano yung clothes? Paano yung healthcare, di ba? Mahal magka-anak. You have to really ask yourself, what kind of quality of life are you providing for your kid, di ba? Then later on, mag-aaral na yan. It will need proper education. Madadagdagan na naman yung gasos mo. So, ayun, alam mo yun, parang it does really constrain yung growth mo financially, if not properly planned. That's it for this video. If you feel na meron ako na miss na other Filipino money mistakes na we should avoid, please let me know in the comment section down below because I might use yung comment nyo as a part 2 video for this uh, Filipino money mistake na videos. Please give me some feedback in the comment section down below whether you agree or disagree sa mga sinabi ko. I wanted to learn and have a discussion sa inyong mga nanonood ng videos na to. I always wanted to end my videos in a very good note so let me just say this. If ikaw, you wanted to take good care of your family at an earlier age or kaya naman, uh, you had a kid at an earlier age I'm not saying na wala ka ng chance to have a good life or you don't have a chance to give your kid a very good life. Um, hindi yun yung gusto kong iparating. What I'm actually saying is yung hard truth na you are against the odds. But I hope na gamitin mo yung family mo or your kid as an inspiration for you to work harder and I hope talaga na you defy the odds. Again, I'm just saying the hard truth but Trust me, I never wish or I never wanted for anyone to have a bad life. That's it. If you're still watching up to this point ng video na to, you better smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's it. Bye-bye!